Hi everybody, my name is Coach Vladimir and I'm a national coach of our senior basketball men's team, but I am also coordinator for those young under 18, under 16 selections. And I am a good friend of the basketball people and people who are participating in this beautiful game. Very recently, uh, our beautiful office manager, Madame Dennis, came to the idea that we should now all those exercises which we are sending to you, like ideas that in a restricted circumstances when you cannot do exactly a way you would like to do the things, we basically try to send you uh, the workouts and wherever you are that you can participate and get better and wait for the days when situation for us would be much better and we can again practice together with the ball without ball in a weight room on a track and field and especially in our beautiful facilities petite and arena and help our basketball get in the top four countries in Africa one day. Therefore, we have to face reality. In my country, we say the glass is half full or half empty. People who say that glass is half full, they basically are optimists. That means for them, everything is positive. If there is any challenging, soon that would be over and we would get better. People who say that glass is half empty, those are pessimists. They don't see with uh, positivism things as we do, and therefore we are scared that uh, things would go in the wrong direction. Unfortunately, since Corona show up to us and this pandemic started to grow up, people should say that uh, that glass is half empty. We don't have that knowledge when this thing would be ended. Therefore, we would do following things. We would try to send you the drills, but we would like also to make some news which would increase our competition. First, we would send you the drills and all seniors who play our league and member of the national team, which names we would call next uh, video when we have next day some kind of the promotion, we would certainly do the things that we promote our basketball in a better way. Right now, I would try to cover several areas and let's finish with this first showtime and let's continue with another two short videos so we can after that have some concrete results basically we would send you some exercises which with the ball or without the ball you can do it we know that you don't live in a houses with a good playground outside with the indoor facilities but what we can certainly do we can give you some ideas through the videos big time coaches around the world do present to us for instance this guy Alan Stein is a great American coach for the strength and fitness and we definitely can use some video which Denise would show you in a next uh, presentation we would have she would put those pieces together and she would send that to uh, our Fervaba uh, page where we would have our video how do we get ready for the breakout of a uh, pandemic and how we would in August be specifically ready to play better basketball than we did already. That name, I would like to remind you on the following things. Uh, certainly, 
we would also be in position to do many, many, many things such as ball handling. Therefore, we like to show you We like to show you some things how people around the world do workouts on their own and you can also use those things and we can definitely remind you that in those morning early workouts from 7 a.m. many of you who were coming were working with me those things. Also we have to remind you that uh, every video drill I sent you or especially coach Serbo who would next week also show up here and talk about the his running exercises his stretching exercises and other things he would explain you in the details how you should do it he would not show up every time but every 10 days or two weeks he would send his new workouts so we would be in position to get some benefits out of it when we talk about those exercises, uh, we would give you those people who we mentioned the names would be obligated to sooner or later send to Denise or put in a group their drills or some workouts they're doing. We would show today Shafi's two drills, but Shafi is also obligated sooner or later to send some his workout and to do another thing which you would love to hear. He would certainly be in position to organize that challenge. Every one of you, like we have when we were fighting against ALS disease, which means people were throwing the ice water on their head and challenging another guy. So for example, Denise would throw cold water on her head and say, now Coach Vladimir, you are the next man, or Martin, physical therapist, or whoever, Coach uh, Maxim, Coach Karim, whoever. We would now do the same thing. We would now, instead of throwing the cold water, do the drills, push-ups, sit-ups, stretching, post-stretching, sprints. Watch out when you do sprints. If you run on a bumping road, you can twist the ankle. Pay attention about that. But I would just remind you how that used to look when people are fighting against this, against this disease. So, people were basically challenging another guy. Like this guy, you remember the Zucker? So I'm gonna challenge Bill Gates, my partner at Facebook, Sheryl Sandberg, and Netflix's founder and CEO, Reed Hastings do this within the next 24 hours. So you have 24 hours to do this, or you have to do it in $100. All right, here we go. That was really cool. Don't worry, you don't have to do these kind of things. You just have to take care about your exercise. Everybody would have to do following thing. We sent you drills for the workouts, either me, either Coach Servo, you just have to take some of those drills, to make a video how you are doing that, and after that to put on our group and to send to Denise. That will go to our YouTube channel on a Ferraba uh, Facebook page, and whenever you show any kind of drill, for example, we can start with Captain Chris Olivier, then he can Choose whoever. Is that Wilson? Is that Kaj? Is that uh, co captain uh, Steve? We can choose uh, anybody. We just need to do the things in a good way that everybody get involved. Guys, I wish you good time. Everybody is welcome to participate in this. Even uh, members of the women basketball, either youngsters. We don't close the door to anyone, but seniors are obligated, especially those who are on a pre-selection list, to do the things to show the class. Have a nice day, and let's name this workouts 
fighting versus COVID. Let us win like many times before. Wish you all the best. Have a nice day and see you very soon. Bye.